Alright, yo, how's it going? My name's David, or Killers, my gamer tag reads off. This is uh, it's my first commentary, so you guys are going to have to bear with me a little bit on this. It's a, um, it's a gameplay, it's a capture the flag on lockdown. It's a competitive side. I don't know if you guys know much about competitive. If you don't, I'll run you down real fast. It's, um, it's, the, it's the total flag caps, total flag caps between the two rounds. It doesn't matter, you know, if you what if you win one side and not the other. It's just how many you win by in all. Um, there's no kill streaks. Everybody tends to be running the the try hard weapons, if you will. Uh, this was my team. This was this was a while ago, and we were just um, doing some team scrims, kind of goofing around, just shooting shit with each other. But uh, anyway, so you guys get to know me a little bit better. My real name is David Nunn. I go to the University of Alabama at Birmingham. I am currently a uh, biology major. Fun stuff. Uh, probably about to change my major to nursing and then try to go to practicing school. So that's, that's a two year program after after my four years. So it's going to take a little bit of work, but it, in the end it'll be good money. It'll be a good lifestyle for me. Um, so that a little bit about me, uh, gaming wise, I got into gaming. I've been into gaming since I was since I was born, really. Um, you know, just like everybody else. My uh, my first system would have been the Nintendo 64. I was four or five years old when I had that and thought I was some hot shit. Uh, I remember I used to play NASCAR 98 all the time. I used to go into the uh, the first person mode and do practice. Never did a race. But I I do practice on Talladega, and I would uh I would do it like I'd probably do 200 laps, and I mean at the time I'm four and a half five years old, and I mean, that's putting in some work. I was on that I was on that NASCAR 98 grind on the 90, on the 64, but um that's kind of where it all started. Uh, always played recreational, you know, the basketball games, the football games, the college football games, especially as you can tell I'm from the South. So um big into the college football games then um... Remember Call of Duty 2 came around back when the Xbox 360 came out and that's how I got started in Call of Duty um... I had the original Xbox as well but again stayed more towards um... football games sport games really uh... There's always a little bit of fun though and then um... then I got my first Xbox 360 and uh, Call of Duty, I think I think it was two came with it. So and at the time, still I'm real young. My parents didn't want me to have online. They didn't know what was going on with it. Um, so I never played. I played the campaign. I played the campaign a pretty good bit. Then um, Halo Three came out, and all my friends had live then. I um, still unfortunately never got to get it, but it you know it was it was it was what it was I, I got to go to their house and goof around it gave me more to look forward to when I went over there um then Call of Duty 4 came out I'm used to play the campaign on that a lot now again didn't have live at the time so I didn't really know what I was missing but I pl I played it a lot um and then Modern Warfare 2 came around that's when I got my PlayStation to start off with and it was my uncle was living with us at the time, and he had that, and he uh, convinced me to get it. It had free online, so I got to I got to finally play online, um, and that's kind of the changing point. It was um, again since I'd been playing Xbox or Call of Duty, I mean whichever one you want to say for su for such a duration of time that I had a pretty good idea on what I was doing and kind of the control. I mean, it was obviously it's a whole other world, but it's in the same, it's the same world. Um, so I remember, I remember my first game on Modern Warfare 2, I was on High Rise. Everybody remembers High Rise, and I went 16 and 8. I mean, obviously that's a kill death of 2. Everybody's worried about the kill death. Oh, that turn on was nasty. I, um, so that's kind of where it started. Kind of got playing a lot. Loved it. Loved every minute of it. Um, played. I played that game. I played that game until the disc fell apart. I wound up. I I hit tenth prestige. Um, at the end, my kill death was positive, so I was happy with that. And um, I was when I started to get pr pretty good. My um, 
Never played any online tournaments, never game battles, anything like that. Didn't know what that was at the time. Didn't even think that there might have been a com competitive website like that. Uh, who would have thought about that? So, um, Black Ops comes around. And I meet a couple buddies. And we start playing. A lot. Uh, it was me, my buddy Lobster, who was from New York, a buddy of mine named Tori, who was from close to where I lived at the time, and another friend of ours named Sam. And it was us four most of the time. We didn't know anything about Team Tactical, which everybody knows about now, and we ran Domination. We ran a Domination of four. I remember I was playing one night, and I met a, uh, a guy named Thug, and another guy named Bobby Lee, and that right there wound up being our sex, and we used to go on some tears and then um, a cousin of mine showed me what competitive gaming was I was hooked instantly it was love it love at first at first sight I um, pretty much just took off from there loved it I'd play um never really did any team screen or anything like that because again I was still on the PlayStation I was on Xbox but that was when I got to go to my first event was halfway through the Black Ops season. It was, well, it might have been further than that. It was in October. So, no. Yeah, it was October because it was uh, just a little bit before Modern Warfare 3 release, which everybody's so excited about. Um, so that's kind of how I got my start on the competitive side. On the same I was able to go, like I said, go was able to go on an to an MLG event, um, got to meet a lot of real cool people, and um, really learned, that's when I really learned the ropes and how things really worked, and uh, since then, I it's taken off, I, I love it, I'm playing all the time, um, doing everything I can, that's kind of my, that's kind of my, uh, a quick summary of my start, I'll do some more videos at a, la at a latter date of um, speaking on, getting on a little bit more and really covering each game that I played, and my growth in that game um, but now I'm playing Modern Warfare 3 just like everybody else hating it hating life and um, you know just kinda doing my thing trying to balance school college that and and social life with the girlfriend and everything it's pretty difficult but um, so that's kind of it uh, like I said I'm David Nunn I'm doing me trying to trying to get known I think um, just, like I said, doing me. It's uh, it's kind of difficult to try to manage gaming, manage a girlfriend, manage school, manage friends, and everything that goes on. I mean, you, I'm sure everybody that's watching this is probably close to my age. So you guys, you guys understand where I'm coming from. Um, yeah, sorry, this is ugh, kind of a bad. I've got, <laughs> I gotta fight my way through two more minutes. Um. But this was, uh, at the time, obviously this was my team. Well, I'll go on that, that's what I know to talk about right now. Um, it was me, a guy named I'm Cody, whose YouTube is FX Theater. He's pretty well known on YouTube, which I didn't know. Uh, my buddy Hazy and my buddy Chabong. It was, it was us three, man. We, we was running. Uh, I remember, I think it was the night after this, we played against Obey. And actually beat them pretty bad. Um... This isn't my first team on this game, sadly enough. The, quite a few kids would sketch. That's uh, kind of difficult to play when you never have a set team. That's very discouraging. Um, but, I mean, as you can see, I uh, my main role is I tend to be a slayer. I've got I'm an AR at this time. I think we had been scrimming for maybe a week. So, and it was it was every day, I believe. So we were able to, um, my shot was really on at the time. Um, well, it wasn't on. This was actually a pretty bad game, uh, shot wise. Kill wise, it was pretty good. Like I said earlier, it was 32 and 11. So I think most people would, uh, would take that if, if given the opportunity. Um, so the, the team I told you about, Hazy is a slayer along with me Slayer support him and I kind of share that role then you have Cody and Chabong who both run SMGs one thing that's kind of cool is without them ever talking Chabong runs MP7 and Cody runs the PP90 so you kind of have a brute 
brute strength and the PP90 that'll eat through anything, and then you have uh, somebody that can run a good support role as well with an MP7. So if we need, we'd have the. Um, sorry about the black screen there for a second. We would have um, two slayers of support and OBJ if need be. But um, for the most part, Hazy and myself are able to hold it down, hold it down pretty well between the two of us. Um, but anyway, guys, that's the uh, looks like it's about the view is about to wrap up. It's um yeah, searching or not searching destroy, capture the flag, lockdown, thirty-two and eleven all day, every day, kind of how I do. But uh, anyway, guys, take it easy. I appreciate you guys watching and having the uh, the patience to put up with my stupid through the course of this and the the stuttering and the just the roughness. Anyway guys, I appreciate it. You guys have a good day. This is Killer. I'm out. Peace.